Fit like folks, it's been the end of a not so wonderful year, but in some ways it's been alright. Um, uh, for us, Life of the Lounge has been definitely the high, highlight of the year. Um, and great many thanks, good to everybody has been following it, um, looking in and supporting us. But here we are, Hogman A 2020. This is actually the first time I've been at home for Hogman A for the Hail Night since... 17 years ago and the reason for that was I was blocked in otherwise I've been in the pub that night <laughs> playing in a tune every in arms but um, come back for Aberdeen and couldn't get the car home had to leave at the end of the, the road um, and the snow was the snow dust for that um, they couldn't get up so I had to carry the Dougal and um, I, I spent a very quiet night that year so that's 17 years that ago that was the four we were together yes, Dougal yeah. was only a little puppy he was eight weeks old and he's time, now 17 and he was at that I mean, you can carry him in your hand now. I mean, he's an old boy now, he's 17, but he was a, just a wee bundle at the time. So so here we are. Um, God almighty, I don't think we've ever had 52 folk at this stage. Again, we're just like quarter past. Usually it takes about 20 minutes before we start getting into uh, kind of the above 50. So, it's so um, nice, oh, nice to see, to see a few folk. Um, um, I think we well, I was just going to say, if you've never been to a live for the lounge, how many have we done now? We've done, we started in March. Hunters. Hunters. No, we started in March. We've done 40, it's about, it's about 43, 43 or 4. 44. I've, I've lost track. But anyway, if you've never been to a live for the lounge, basically, Paul plays some tunes, I sing some songs, we hear a few silly little games. Yeah, a bit of nonsense. And feel free to type whatever you want. Wish up the a happy new year. We're going to run right over the bells. I'm not quite sure how it's going to work. It'll, because, it'll work. Then well, I'm just have faith. But, have but faith. it's because there's a bit of a delay in what we're saying and it getting to you live so it's not absolutely live Aye, so we're yeah. just gonna we've got we've got bbc one in the background just to check on the countdown and we'll do a, a countdown and if you's just d for to you went at the same time we'll be there or thereabouts well we've never really yeah. planned this no but actually we'll be there I'm, or thereabouts i'm fully expect that it's going to go wonderfully <laughs> um, and it'll be the blazing fiddles and the telly or something did i, did I watch them though by the way here good. <laughs> of course they're good but um I bide, bide here and... Hogmanay and Tarlan's there. Anyway, they'll probably be on in the background at that time. So, we're going to just crack on. Um, nice to see a few faces. Yeah. Um, the normal stuff we've got... What's in the box? 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 The last of the year. Yeah, sugar. So now, bring your guesses in in the comments and I'll I'll read them out. Just and stay uh, and fire your pet you your misery. It's near a gold bar. Just in case you were wondering if I'd been raiding my hoardy. Oh, I am. A gold bully. <laughs> it's near that, so you can write that off your list. But we'll take any other suggestions and guesses because pretty much it is guesses. But there you go, another wee shot and the wee pairs so in the box out. Put in your guesses for fits of the box. And are you doing a fits of fusky? I am. Um, let's here we go. Here's a fusky tonight. I've kind of given this a miss for a while. We've been on to the, the Scottish real ales. Um, but it's whiskey. Now, this has got a very exotic sounding go and label. It is a Speyside malt, this thing. So, I don't cut, cut it down to about 180 or so. <laughs> <laughs> so, you've got a bit a bit of guessing. It will be guessing. I'll tell you if it is later on. We'll show you if it's in the box and if it whiskey it is. But it is a very tasty drum. So, there you go. Here's to 2020. It's not been great for a lot of folk, but um, let's hope it's going to be better next year. So, oh, do you want to open my bottle of bubbles? Oh, we'll do that in, in the new year, sure. Oh, that would be an exciting. Means I get a drink just now. Well, well yeah, there's water on the top. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> you get whiskey and I'll get water. All right, right, okay. I'm going to start with a set of reels. Um, some cracking tunes here to get going. Uh, starting with Kate Dalrymple. If you're a f fan of the Scottish country dancing. A take the Floor programme over the years. This is the theme tune. It's a great old traditional tune. Kate Dalrymple. Thank you. 
Um, well, you say that, but um, I feel greatly disappointed with that effort Why? because I pretty much didn't play on and I was expe <laughs> expecting to play because you throw tunes together that you didn't normally play together and I just made a new set of tunes that worked. And I was going to play Kate Dorrimple, The Love She's But a Lassie Yet, which I nearly <laughs> lost going into. And then I was going to play the Sandy Burn Reel and finish with the Barrel Burn. But I missed out the last two and ended up playing Reconciliation. So there oh, you that's go. Funny. It's all action here. Nothing's gone quite as expected. But anyway, I hope you like the tunes. Um, I, you want to I'm jump in? Come in yeah, I have got so many hellos well, to do. I've got long. loads and I'm not even halfway through yet. Uh, so, Shona Robertson and all the Robertsons doing in the village, doing in the Aberdeen Arms. It'll be a quiet night for the Aberdeen Arms <laughs> tonight. Uh, Kim Harris is watching. Shirley and John Fuchs over in. Uh, Skeen, it is Skeen, isn't it? West Hill, Skeen, Galogie. Oh, it's, it's yeah. Close enough. Uh, Paul Gray and Anne Wyatt are watching regulars on them. Fan and Lorelei back again, another light regular. Uh, Gillian Needham and David Curry in the village are watching. Leonard Brown is watching. Fantastic accordionist. He's a show in the morning. He's got a show tomorrow night. Uh, I don't know if it's tomorrow night, actually. I, I think I'll it is. I'll put a link though. up to it later, yeah. but check out Leonard. Actually, Paul and I are both playing in it. Um, it's been pre recorded. <laughs> But uh, yeah, check out Leonard's show tomorrow, his New Year show. Uh, Alexander Thompson, Rona and Charlie doing in the village. Sandy White the Mint La is watching. Gordon Calder says my sparkly dress is better than his sparkly dress. Thank you very much. Uh, Sue, <laughs> Sue Prentice and the Prentice clan are watching. Sheena and Malcolm Wellington doing in Dundee are watching. Nice to see you both. Sue Taylor, another regular up in Orkney. Danielle and Ben Lumsden, regulars who watch from Australia. It's already New Year in Australia. Yes, right. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Beth Happy New Year. and uh, the Lumsden clan. Paul Tyrer is saying, where is your sparkly frock tonight? It's I've got a sparkly kilt. You, know, you can't see it. <laughs> I'm like a newsreader. You can only see for the waist. At least he's like, got so. something on in the bottom. Yeah, uh, it's got sparkly <laughs> drawers on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anne and Francie are in Hoth, they're just outside Dublin are watching. Gavin Piper, Alan and Rona Taylor out in Afford, Heather Morrison, Kate and Jim Taylor in Garlogie. Um, who else have we got? Doug and Joy Stewart and Huntley. Tommy and Sonia, my auntie and uncle and Huntley are watching in Ah. Uh, Victoria Hancock is watching. Malcolm and Mary Duff, another couple of regulars. Ian and Anne, your mum and dad are watching yep. just up the heat of the hill. Drew Aitken, Garen Fraser and Clan, Badger and Shona and Alana and Lee Klein. And they, they are in Canada, yeah, so yeah. They've, they've got about five hours to wait till Hogmanay appears for them. So, anyway, um, I just see Donald Mitchell um, has commented there. Donald is in the hospital because he's getting his oh, appendix out. Uh, Donald, all the best, man. Sorry, there won't have been any drums tonight, but um, you can save it for later when you're feeling better. But all the best with your, your wee bit of surgery. So... <laughs> Changed fiddles. Some of you might be wondering, but why is he doing that? Well, the reason for that is I'm going to play one of my favourite slow airs called Neil Gow's Lament for the Death of His Second Wife, and this is one of Neil's own fiddles. One of the three that's known, there's um, Pete Clark would came for his the other, and I think that was probably his best fiddle that he used. There's the one in Blair Castle, which um, it's, a, it's actually a nice enough, but it's nice to go as this um, or the other in it, I think, but um, we were going to be at the Neil Gow Festival earlier this year, which was obviously, like all else, cancelled. But the three fiddles were going to be together at the same time, and um, it, it was put in mind to play this tune because they've just unveiled the fantastic life-size statue. I think it might be bigger than Neil Gow, possibly, but um, we'll call it life-size bronze statue of Neil Gow that's in, in Burnham. So once you're allowed to move about, go and see it, because it's a great achievement to raise the funds direct, something like that. So, um, great effort for the team doing in uh, Dunkeld and Burnham. Uh, Pete Clark really heating that up. So, um, tremendously excited about that and, and just delighted because it's long overdue. I mean, he's the father of Scottish fiddle music, so th it, there certainly should be a statue there for him. And there is now. So, I'm going to play his most famous tune on his own fiddle. There's no adjusters. Bach will crack on it. It'll be alright. It'll be alright.
and every day you get to play that tune on possibly for what was written on that's just my opinion but um maybe nay but anyway it certainly was one of neil's end fiddles so um yeah it's a it's a treat to, to get to play that it's this is the fiddle that's um in the care of the perth gallic society and i got a line it for my celtic connections um recital earlier, earlier in the year and um it was going to be handed back at the Neil Gow Festival. I was going to play it at it, and um, it was cancelled. And I've landed. I've still got it <laughs> until it's safe to be kind of going about visiting folks. So in the meantime, I've still got this and Nathaniel Gow's fiddle as wheel. So there you go. So here it is. But ne Neil Gow's fiddle. No question about that. So, right. oh, so. I, I hope it's not too jumpy. I have kicked the loons off the Xbox and all the um, all the Kindles now. Is that uh, just my mum. Uh, so I've got another big list of hellos. Oh. Massive, because we've got 135 folk watching. Brilliant. Sandy Archer is watching. Grace and Matt, my mum and dad are in Huntley. Uh, John Cascade in Dumfries is watching. Doreen Melvin and Callum Wood doing in Glasgow. Uh, Margot and Edward Stewart in Dam and Dool. Philip Ponton's watching. Hello, Philip. Marjorie and Tony Groundwater in Glenrothes. Stuart Bull. Elaine and George Mitchell, a couple of regulars. And uh, they both had December birthdays. So happy Still birthday. Still trying to work through that fish supper a year about a month ago. <laughs> Alex and Charles Lou in Boston. And Alex's family are watching in the UK via Zoom along with them, Good which is stuff. pretty cool. Uh, Margaret Kerr in Australia, Margaret Anthony in Norfolk, Virginia, uh, my sister Marion and her husband Grant and my niece Evie up in Forest are watching, <laughs> Athol Buchan, Alison McKinnon over in Inverness is watching, Arlene McLean, Aileen Carr is watching as well, Jay Hare and all his crew over in Logie Colston, uh, Lana, Andy, Bella and Fletcher are watching in Tara. Happy New Year to you all. Ulla over in Stockholm, one of our regulars. Matthew Donaghy is watching as well, so uh, they're up in Nairn, aren't they? It's got a new single. Yeah, the... check out Matthew's new I single. Know, course, it's, it's, it's like a proper oh, it's video. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's they've got a huge amount of effort. It's, it's, it's very classy, very yeah. slick. Features Marilyn Monroe, enough said. Yeah, Jane Roberts in Philadelphia, another one Jane. of our regulars. Annie Reid, our in Stoney is joining us. Donald Gibson in Thor Thorwald, which I still have to visit. <laughs> Sounds amazing. Nay, yeah, that's month. Uh, Jane Willis in Kaberdi is watching. <laughs> uh, Aya Akayama is watching in Japan. Hello, Aya. She watched some of our um, food and music stuff, so really right, nice to yeah. see you. Tracy and Hugh Adelsey, another re uh, regular on uh, Life in the Lounge. Chris Caldwell is watching. Amanda Morgan is watching in Australia. Joe and Pat uh, Aitken are watching in Kerry Muir. Not quite as uh, far flung and glamorous as Australia. Uh, who else have we got? Margaret Simpson is watching and Andrew Forbes. See, Whew. you want to get this on the BBC's programme, you want to get a mention on it, I tell no. you, better come here. Like. Right, I have got some guesses for what's in the box. Do you want to oh, play it? I'm going to play the theme yeah. tune. What's in the box? 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 This so, has never been played in Neil Goose for the <laughs> There's a lot of guesses for Cole. So Paul Tyra thinks Cole, as does Gillian Needham, Daria Muir, Alan Taylor, Sandy White, Jane Willis, <laughs> Margaret McInnes, Liz Cooper, Shona Roberts, oh no, sorry, and Jane Willis. But we also have guesses for Kim Harris thinks a snooker ball, uh, Anne Reardon thinks a lone EU star. Yeah, possibly. the missing in it's disappeared yeah. off the flag. Rona thinks a dog biscuit, uh, Simon Prentice thinks there must be a wee bit of hope in there. <laughs> There's Absolutely, always there's always hope. Always hope. Uh, Jimmy Bowers thinks lead, fish and tackle, and uh, Shona Robertson thinks a conquer. Then I keep my target on a box. We've got, <laughs> we've got a few guesses for the whiskey. <laughs> well, you're you are wrong, anyway. There you yourself. go. No, nobody's right. Do you want to hide up a whiskey and <laughs> let them see it? So oh, Gillian yeah, Needham it's... thinks Glen Morangy. I prefer it to Quantrill, which I find too orangey. That's the one, that's the one. Uh, Alan Taylor thinks Balvini, Caribbean cask. Charlie yeah. Ritchie, Glen Farkless. Uncle Tommy... Abuna, Abuna, Abuna. Mm. Uh, Liz Cooper thinks Balvini, Shona Robertson thinks Shivas Regal, as does Auntie Sonia. Right, well, this week, um, on the 28th, I think it was, was the anniversary of the death of Rob Roy McGregor. He was born in 1671 and he died in 1734. And um, he was so well kent 
in his day that Abdi kept him. It, it was never thought necessary to paint him, although he was a bit of a bit of an elusive character. But there's no authenticated, definite painting that they could say is definitely her. There's a couple that they say might might be and have been described as being him, but there's nothing that can say that's definitely Rob Roy. The fact was in his day he was so well kept through the Kingdom of Scotland that Ned needed to describe him because Abdi kent him. I mean, he, he was an amazing character. Um, um, a bit like Marmite, I suppose. Some folk thought he was great in, in his day and others nay, but he was certainly a character. And um, the film about him is actually nay, but it's nay bad, I have to say. I thought um, they got a lot of that very well done. Braveheart is a spectacle in a good movie, but a lot of nonsense, really, um, as regards the subject and accuracy. But Rob Roy, down to the, 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 the clients that were wearing, I thought was pretty good. The real Rob Roy was far more interesting and far more amazing a character. I mean, he was, he, he was at Kelly Cranky. He served under Bonnie Dundee at Kelly Cranky in the, the, the rising there in 1689, I think it was. And he died fully clothed because he had one of his neighbours he didn't get on we was coming to see him on Abdi Kent he was on his deathbed and the, the, he came to see him I think he was just went to see him kind of in his weakened state so he could kind of gloat and Rob Kent this was what was basically going on so he had himself gotten into his bed and dressed in his full Highland wear with his kilt um, he was armed to the teeth of his broadsword his pistols and duck uh, on him and the, the guy came in and got quite a shock he wasn't <laughs> expecting to see him quite so fu um, furiously attired and um, once he left he pretty much went back to his bed he called for his piper and his piper played um, a tune um, called I Shall Return No More and he had passed away before the tune was finished so Rob Roy McGregor a tune I'm going to play for the Captain Simon Fraser collection and I'm going to follow it up with some other stuff. We'll just see if it comes out. I'm going to stick with Neil Gow's fiddle for these because I, I, I would hate to say, I would dare guarantee Neil played every one of these tunes um, on this fiddle. <laughs>
<laughs> well, we've saw it. Special if you're a um, dog. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what do you to say? So, I'm going to jump out the road. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I'm just going to do some quick hellos and guesses. Well, you can do that. Uh, we're all Pam with the here. Hello, Natasha Lloyd. Uncle Ron Roger is watching. Hello, Uncle Ronnie. Thank <laughs> to see you. Uh, Sally Day Butler is watching. Bonnie over in Milwaukee. Bob B Minaj uh, just outside Tarland. Liz and Roger Court in Lincolnshire. Jean and Gordon Simpson, fine to see you both over in Huntley. Dougie McKenzie, fine to see you and I, Dougie. Mary and George Patterson in Whithorn. That's uh, Dumfriesshire, isn't it? Whithorn. Yeah. Yeah. Paul McDonald and all the McDonald family doing it in the borders are joining us. Gemma Falk in Duch. Susan Kirkwood is joining us as well. The Ledfords in California. Rebecca Lomnicki in Oregon and her family as well. Barbara Austin in Connecticut and Ali Roberts is watching tonight. Um, Callum and Keris are watching as well and it's the first time that Callum and Keris have stayed up so they're quite sleepy burns the night but it's nice to see you. I hope you manage. I think we've got 20 minutes to go. Mm. Stay up, Callum and Keris, don't fall asleep. Oh, uh, okay, so Hogmanay, uh, so let's see, have a look in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? I'll give it a rattle. Uh, so, Shirley Fuchs thinks a lump of coal. Philip Ponton thinks it could be a surprise for Shona. No. Uh, Paul Gray thinks shortbread. Ali Roberts thinks Christmas cake or shortbread. I'm telling you, if it was shortbread, I wouldn't be shaking it like that. Gosh, it's hard stuff. Aye. Uh, uh, Jack Taylor thinks a mini O Glenfiddich. Lana Carter thinks a party popper, and Andy Carter thinks a cork. <laughs> it's near a cork. Are you s struggling there, Paul? What have you yeah, done? Yeah, I've just lost it. All. Oh no. What have you done? Sorry. Technical. Technical. Hitch. That that was splunk. There you go. Sorry, technical hitch. Ball just had a little bit of a... Oh yeah. my gosh, I've just lost it all. Right, where was I? Uh, uh, Liz Court thinks a pocket watch. Andy Carter thought a cork. It's not a cork because I've not gotten my Prosecco open yet. Uh, the whiskey fits the fusky. Shirley thinks Balvini Doublewood. Sandy White Loch Nagar. Stuart Bull Old Fetter Cairn. Jane Roberts Craig Elihey. Um Jack Taylor thinks Craig Elihey as well. Ali Roberts thinks Jura. Emma Stewart Glendronach, Nikki Doon in the Aberdeen Arms thinks Fair Cairn, Grant Ritchie Lagavulin and Jeanette Gray Glen Geary. Okay, right. Phew. We've got a lot of folk watching and usually usually we have a manageable amount for me to be right and Paul, don't stress out if you can't get everybody's guesses in. I'll keep an eye here and uh, we'll see how we get on. So, I'm going to do a couple of songs just now. Uh, if you can keep an eye on the time as well, Paul, not that I think I'm going to take up that long. 23, 43. 43. Okay, so I'll have time to do these two anyway. So this is, this first song that I'm going to sing is is pre a pretty old song actually. It's, um, it was printed in 1642 um, in the popular music of the olden times and it's called Carol for New Year's Day. And I'm sure you'll recognise the tune as Greensleeves. Um, but it's called A Carol for New Year's Day and this is one that I came across I think it was last year and I was going to sing it somewhere and I never quite got room to it so <clears throat> so Carol for a New Year's Day mm -hmm. The old new year away has fled the new year now has entered then let us now our sins down tread and joyfully all appear Let's merry be this holiday, and let us run and sport and play. Hang sorrow, let's cast care away, God grant us a merry new year. And now with new year gifts each friend unto each other they do send. God grant we may our lives amend and that the truth may appear. Now like the snake cast off your skin of evil thoughts and wicked sin. And to amend this new year begin, God grant us a merry new year. And now let all the company in friendly manner now agree. For we are here, welcome all may see unto this jolly good cheer. I thank my master and my 
my dame, to wet your founders over the same. To eat, to drink, now is no shame, God grant us a merry new year. Come lads and lasses, every one, come Jack and Tom and Mary and Joan. Let's cut the meat unto the bone, for welcome you need not fear. And here for good luck are you shall not lack, it will wet my brains and strengthen my back. This good jolly good cheer it shall not lack, God grant us a merry new year. Come give us good liquor when I do call, I'll drink to everyone in this hall. I hope so loud that I will not bawl, but unto me lend a near. Good fortune to my master send, and to the dame who is our friend. Bless us all, and so I end. God grant us a merry new year. Carol Yay. for a new year's day from 1642. It's so it's quite a... It's a beautiful tune, actually. Well, green sleeves. I know, I think, folk. Henry VIII, supposedly, I wrote that. Yeah, well, there's no way I know one, I suppose. It's a kinker of a tune, like. Um, I think a lot of folk maybe think, oh, it's green sleeves. Yeah, everybody sings it at primary, don't they? It's one of the first kind of tunes that you learn. Oh, yeah, sparkly dress on tonight. Really spangly. I'm looking up and seeing Susan Kalman on BBC One. She's looking quite spangly as well. Not as spangly as me though. No, no. She's I'm definitely out sparkling her. A pale imitation, from her. <laughs> So I'm going to do one more song just now. Uh, a song called Say Will We Yet? And this has got a chorus if you'd like to join in. I'm not going to say too much about it. It's pretty self explanatory. Um, yeah. Okay, you you fine, Paul. You sorted. Oh, yeah, just okay. so I just stuff I know there's a lot of stuff coming in, and Paul, I don't think Paul can write that quick. So uh, <clears throat> this is a uh, say will we yet? And actually, I sang the chorus on Francie Devine's CD, and Francie is watching tonight with Anne over in Hoth. Francie is a fantastic singer, and if you can get a CD, uh, either of his CDs, because he's got two, absolutely go and get them. And uh, I I was. Uh, Really chuffed that Francie asked me to sing on his last CD and uh, we did the chorus for this and uh, a couple of other things. So, so this is Sable. Last chorus ever played up was his launch. That's right, oh my goodness. Ironically, we wouldn't be able to do that next year. No. <clears throat> so, sit down here, my cronies, and he has your crack. Let the wind tack the care of this life on its back. Her heart's to despondency we never shall submit. For with I was been provided for and say will we yet. And say will we yet. And say will we yet. For if I was been provided for, and say will we yet. So fell us a tanker on a pebrun hill. It'll comfort our hearts, and in life in the tale. For will I be the merrier, the longer that we sit. For we've drunk the gather money's a time, and say well we yet, and say well we yet, and say well we yet. For we've drunk the gather money's a time, and say well we yet. The miser delights in the hoard and o oh, his pelf. Since he has na the soul to enjoy it himself, the bounties of providence are new every day. As we journey through life, let us live by the way. Let us live by the way. Let us live by the way. As we journey through life, let us live by the way. 
Said ax me your mel and my nose I will prime. Let mirth and sweet innocence employ our time. Ne quarrel in our fechten we ever will admit. We've paired to die in unity and say well we had. And say well we had. And say well we had. For we've paired to die in unity and say well we had. So fill up your glasses, let the bottle go run. For the sun it will rise, though the moon has gone down. Though the room be run and run about, there's time enough to flood. When we fell, we I got up again and say well we had, and say well we had, and say well we had. When we fell, we I got up again and say well we had, and say well we had, and say well we had. When we fell, we I got up again, and say well we yet. Cheers, Abdi. Cheers. Do you want to read these? Yes. Or will, I do? Uh, will I be able to read your writing? Is that all right? Oh, I could sort of. Okay. Right what kind of time is it for? It is twenty-three fifty-two. So we've got two. We've got eight minutes. Eight minutes. Okay. So we could read them out in a. Time for one tune, I think. And mm-hmm. first, okay, enough. so Philip Ponton thinks Highland Park for the Fusky. Uh, Gillian Needham thinks a snabba. In the box. In the box, okay. Uh, if it's a snabba, it's got a fair few chuckies in so it. It's got a, a chuckie <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> uh, Chris Caldwell thinks Dolphin or Glenfiddich. Margaret McInnes thinks McCallan. Amanda Morgan thinks a rock in the box. Annie Reid thinks a Ferrero Rocher. They did a last long in my house, Annie, so there's definitely nine in there. Leonard Brown thinks Rosette. Matt Milne thinks Glendronic for the Fisky. Susan Hurst is watching from Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Susan is a regular and we always do an Oklahoma. Uh, Elaine Mitchell thinks Lafroig in the for the Fisky. Uh, Robert MacDonald is joining us tonight from Connecticut. Jamie Bowers thinks McCallan. Joe Aitken thinks a Tam Do for the Fusky. Paul Gray thinks a Brazil Nut in the box. Lorelai thinks a Walnut in the box. Liz Cooper thinks Coal in the box and a Tam Nivolin for the Fusky. Moira Stewart thinks a Shot Glass uh, in the box. Margaret Anthony thinks the Vaccine in the box. <laughs> well, I certainly have not gotten it yet. Uh, Susan Hirsch thinks a cork in the box, and Elizabeth uh, Liz Court thinks juniper oil bottle. Philip McCullough. Mac. Oh, Mac! Hey, Mac! He said he thinks it's soup. Soup. Well, I actually. Oh, I wish I had smell a vision because I've got a pot of tatty soup on, and it's filling a hail house, isn't it? Very nice. Smells mega fine. Because uh, normally, of course, we would hear a, a concert. We'd be doing something out and about in Hogmanay, and then we'd hear Abdi piling back to our house here in the Howa Kramar, and I'd hear a pot of soup, well, a couple of pots of soup on, and we'd hear Abdi here and singing and playing tunes and hearing good crack and see the new year in. But uh, I've got, I've made a massive big pot of soup, and it's only the four of us, so I'm sure it'll be it in any way. Are you? Right. Are you? Yep. Okay, okay. I'll swap places, shall I? Yes. Right, I'm going to take it rearrange just a little bit. Sorry. This, this is for BBC Scotland has the advantage. Um, <laughs> um, all this shuggling about is a lot easier in a studio with various different cameras. Somebody made a comment that they thought we'd made our viewers on the BBC, but I don't know. Uh. <laughs> I didn't even think that would be right. But anyway, I think we've got time for one tune. Um, and then we can talk our way at the bells of we'll miss the hail thing. So, let's see if I'm in tune. I had a new set of strings on the day. Ordered them two days ago and they, they arrived this morning, so I'm quite pleased with that. Let's fit string zone if anybody's interested. The type of strings I use, which are brass or olive, they're very they're, they're, they're soft and they stretch for quite a long time. You tighten them up and they keep stretching, so um, they can be a bit of a problem to keep in tune. This is a wall. 
Colts in the last tune of this year. And um, one of my most recent compositions, actually, I wrote this for um, Alex and Charles Liu, who were in the States. Um, they've been probably some of our biggest um, supporters. They're looking every week, not necessarily when we're playing, but they'll, they'll, they'll look back the next day they and watch it. They watch it when they're having their dinner, like lovely romantic music. Over dinner, candlelit dinner. And so just as a thanks, I want to write a tune. And so this is actually a tribute to Alex's dad. Um, um, I'm not going to say very much, but he sadly just passed away not that long ago. I think it was, I think it was November, November, October sort of time. So it's going to be quite an emotional thing for them. But anyway, I wrote this tune for them and, and this is what they wanted it to be um, dedicated to. So the tune is called... A melody for a gentleman, which I think says a lot about Alex's dad. So um, let's see if we can do it. How many minutes, Sean? Uh, three. Three minutes. So I was quite pleased with that. I hope I hope it's um, it's it's um, and again it's the last tune of the year. I'm not sure if I was going to say there, but anyway, um, I was delighted to write, write that tune for Alex and Charles. So anyway, that was for you, and um, we're moving swiftly on into that. We've got a, a couple year. of minutes. I'm watching the Piper on BBC. Well, right. the Piper came on. I thought, right, I better well, stop because <laughs> here's the Piper. Yeah. But he, it looks like he's, I want to play a set. But um, yeah. So um, um, I've got a couple of hellos. Do you want uh, me to do that? Yeah, just now? Do or do you want to do, do a bit about New Year tradition just for a minute, one minute? Well, maybe do that once a New Year is in. Okay. So Marlene Low and Strucken is watching. Uh, a happy New Year to you, oh, Marlene. Marlene and, seen uh, you for a while. Ah, uh, the Buchan Heritage Society. Susan Hirsch thinks Caribbean cask for the. Whiskey, uh, Ian Murray thinks Glenn Murray or Glenn Livett, and Bonnie thinks Chalk in the Box. Mm -hmm. Chalk in the Box. One minute to go. Oh, here's Dougal coming in as well. Yeah. I haven't got a drink, Paul. Well, do you want me to open that? Yes, I would love right, you to on. open that. I've got my now glass here waiting. I hope your glasses this, are charged, folks. Th this is for a mark. I don't feel myself when you see a kind of date, but I can do that, you see. Right, you better speed I'm, on, Paul, because you've got less than a minute. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to do it um, with a sword, but the way you do it is you turn the bottle. Okay, you're watching because you, yeah, you're going right. to miss it if you're... See, there you go. You coop. Oh, it just said something on the BBC. I'm just... Oh, thank you very much, Paul. There you go. There you go. That's right. pretty much it. Okay. Can I be far? Are you wanting me That's to it. Five, five. Four. Three. three two, two. One. one. Happy New Year! Happy New, Happy New, Year, New Year, Year, everyone! Cheers. I hope 2021 is a really good year yeah. for you. A lot better than we've had this year. Happy New Happy Year, Happy New Paul. Year. I've got lipstick on you now. Got, I know. Cheers, Bye. everybody. I'm coming in for a cheers. Cheers. Go, cheers. <laughs> ching, ching. Cheers. Oh. Cheers, Mary. Mm-hmm. Happy New Year, everyone. So, it's a oh. new year. Do you know, it's really weird because we've done, what, 43 or 44 of these now? And I genuinely feel like our regulars that watch on a Friday night 
are like friends and family. So I kind of do feel like, I'm, although we're not in the same place, we're celebrating together, which is a really nice thing to do this year. Yep. I think. Oh, I'm going to get all teary. So, New Year. A New Year, <laughs> which um, I, I feel optimistic. I mean, I felt optimistic last year. That's a sad thing. It's, it's been a shit year. But in a lot of ways, it has. And it's never been bad. I mean, it's been, there's been a lot of good stuff. We've been lucky because we've been for we are. And we've got the music. But it, it's it's the ideal. It really is a bit frustrating. And um, try to keep everybody safe. So, please, we want everybody to be safe. Yeah. So, we're here to see you. Hopefully live next year. We'll be doing live for the lounge for the foreseeable. So, so we're not done there. Join us on a Friday night. <laughs> it's a, is, a, is that a knock at the door? It's a knock at the door. I better go and see. The door. Go I better go and see who's at the door. Socially distanced, hopefully. Who's at the door? Come in. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> We've got some first footers. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> right. Well, no. We'll oh, Happy New Year! Up. Come in! Come in, come in! It's nice to see you. Who's your sale? You're looking Hello. grand. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs> what do you bring with you first? For so, here's the... <laughs> aye, aye, you, you can come into the party. Here? You can come into the party. Oh, there you go. Bottle of whiskey. So, this is... Um, <laughs> can I... Down a wee bit if you want to get your hair. Fits <laughs> traditional. Now, they, they are laying the house. They're not really first fitters. But that's just the kind of thing that would happen. It would tend to be up here that it would be a dark stranger. <laughs> Uh, they would come to the door and be your first fit and that would be seen as being very very lucky it's always always considered the done thing to bring some bread or oat cakes or which is also very good shortbread short no it's good a, a coos here at the front it's Dean's shortbread the best shortbread you can get it is if you're for Huntley if you're for Huntley you can't go past that uh, that was one of the taunts for the Howland Shed at Huntley when Nicky Walker was playing. He used to play. <laughs> and um, I think it was Shona's auntie. She, she said, Oi, Walker, yeah, short bread shit. <laughs> so, so this is the other thing. A, a lump well, of coal I'm... would be teen in. Um, and that would be fit. You would keep it for a year. And you would kindle your New Year's fire next year. So that would hate to be kept. Um, we'd actually burn coal because um, it's, it's a wood burning fire. You don't really burn coal in it, <laughs> and it's just for show. So there's the coal. Oh, look at your hands. It's been in the shed for a while. So, so that's kind of the kind of things if you go first fit. And now, certainly when I was growing up, we never really went first fit with mum and dad unless it was to see Gran and Granda. One year, I really minded. We went round to the Cotter House for Vic uh, uh, Wallace. Uh, and his family were, and be, there was no telly basically, they, because they, they knocked out the Doris TV mast, and so we did Christmas holidays, we had the great films, we didn't see any of them, and we, <laughs> we actually all went round, we um, we seen my aunties and uncles and cousins were there, and we went round and seen the most memorable holidays I'd ever had, um, but we didn't really go out, but certainly um, we'd a tractorman, Bill Davidson, or Barney as he was better Kent, but he was a young man, he was, well, and he did his national service, he was the army hammer throwing champion and Bill would go first fitting for three days solid. So some folk used to really go go at it. It's um nay like that now. I can you can you not get folk no. doing it like that anywhere and certainly nay this year. So anyway. Right. I think we should sing Old Lang Syne. Right. And okay. I think if anybody wants to sing along at home, please do. And also in the wee emoji box, see if you can find a handshake or a hand or something, and we can all join hands through Technology yep. of some sort. So, when we sing it, are you going to yeah. sing as well, boys? <laughs> Hector right. might not. Should all acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should all acquaintance be forgot for all alongside? For all alongside? Oh, 
Hovang sai my dear for Hovang sai we'll take a cup of kindness yet for Hovang sai happy new year happy new year folks happy new year you want to pick, pick him up? He's we'll see. Getting gay. Oh, look, he's getting since, really since he's first home with he's getting to be an old boy. Here's so there puppy. you go, old boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, let him go. Let happy go. New Year. So, Happy New Year, folks. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe that's us in 2021. We're still yeah. going to keep going for a wee while. Aye, aye. Not oh, finished. I will be here Just for hours. Just stick around. We've not finished. I've still got a couple of songs. And I, you've got I fully expect within the next 10 minutes it'll be sort of rattling down to about 10 folk. <laughs> <laughs> but folk actually want to go and say hello to their families. But and we'll do for, I'll do one more set and show I'll do a couple of songs and then we'll finish up. Yep. And that'll be us, I think. So, um, aye, this has been quite an exciting way to spend a whole minute, despite yes. the fact we're a tame. So, right. I was going to say on this day, it's near this day on Emir. It was yesterday. 300 years ago. Yesterday. Oh, we, do you know what we didn't do? I didn't go and open the doors. Well, yeah, do you want to go and do it? Yeah, I'll go and open it. Do you want to say why? Oh, it's oh, the day we were letting the, 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 the. I had a bad luck for last year out. You do that, you, you open the door and let. I had a bad luck out. Yeah. It's the kind of thing my granny would have done because she was very superstitious. Well, I would have as well, and I just I was a bit too busy right, there, so, so I'm going to go well. and let the whole year, the new year in. Aye, so as I was saying, um, 300 years ago yesterday, 31st of January, um, 1720, was born a child that would become known as Bonnie Prince Charlie. Um, so I suppose I'd, it'd be a, certainly a commemoration for a lot of folk. Um, a notable character, best kent for the Jacobite Rebellion, but... His grandfather was the the king of uh, the Brit Great Brit Britain and Ireland. Um, his father was known as the, the Old Pretender. Bonnie Prince Charlie was known as the Young Pretender. He got the name Charlie because it actually it's Gaelic for Charles sounds like Charlie. Um, Charlie, I think it's, it's pronounced. Um, but he was born 300 years ago yesterday. Um, so... I'm going to tell you his full name because it's not just Charles Stuart or Charles Edward. His full name is Charles Edward Louis John Casimir Sylvester Severino Maria Stuart. Maria? Maria. That is quite a hand fate. I mean, that is. That's why I had to write that down. It was too long. So he was born on this day in Rome and he's buried in Rome in the St. Peter's Basilica. And on his tomb basically says, shorthand version, King Charles III was buried there because for Mester Catholic Europe recognised him as being the rightful king, which actually, if you follow the direct line for his grandfather who was ousted, that's exactly what he would have been. But of course, if you're not winning, <laughs> you're not writing the history books. So anyway, Bonnie Prince Charlie... Um, yeah, a lot of Scottish history and folklore and songs associated with the Jacobite um, rising. So I thought I would play a few tunes. Now, I'm not going to tell you what they are, and I want to see if anybody can tell me um, that all four of these tunes are. What the names of them? Aye, I'm not going to tell you what they are, but there are today with Bonnie Prince Charlie. Okay, so some of you can some of them, some of you might get one, some of you might get none, but that'd be interesting. Uncle Tommy better know this. <laughs> All right. So let's see what you mark of this.
ago. So Bonnie Prince Charlie born 300 years ago yesterday. yesterday. Right, Shona, you want to come up and do your last yeah, couple mm -hmm. of songs? I've got a couple of hellos and things to say. Oh my goodness, I nearly... That's too much. I've only had one glass of Prosecco and I'm tripping out what all the wires doing here. Um, Anne and Stu Lamb over in Bonnie Bankery. Uh, Anne says Stu nearly spilled his wine. Cheers and... <laughs> at, at, at the new year at the bells uh, Andrew and Jenny Cox say happy new year Paul Gray thinks a Jura for the whiskey Sandy and Margaret McInnes are in Glen Kindy watching and Mac and Carol Anderson in London we mentioned Mac and uh, I want to say happy new year to Carol as well um, and Mac says Carol just shoved him outside with a bottle of whiskey and some olives so he could see fit fit fits fit first fit <laughs> 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 oh, that makes my head hurt. <laughs> that makes my head hurt. Okay, so uh, I've got a couple of songs here. See, there's been a lot of folk commented on your dress, by the way. I know. It's a total kicker, is it? It's mega sparkly. Dave and Thomas Fay, Norfolk, Virginia, has just said, Oh, yeah, how sparkly. Totally sparkly. My uh, niece Evie, uh, her last name is Barclay, and she loves sparkles, so we call her Miss Sparkly Barclay. She would love this dress. Um, and do you know what the best thing was? It was £7 in the sale in Tesco. Oh, love a bargain. As were my earrings. Yeah, got new ones as well. Okay, so... Uh, can I borrow your fiddle just a wee second, Paul, because I need my starting note. Uh, I'm going to sing uh, another wee chorus song. In fact, uh, the, the one after this is chorus as well. So I hope you've all charged your glasses if, you, if you've had a dram and uh, you're up for having a wee sing song. This is uh, a song called Happy We've Been A The Giver. Hear her in the angle, please, and oh, I say happy and say free, though the northern winds blow off her ears, and for in sharp winds beat you and me. Happy we've been all the gather, can't you we've been a Go out and we are greedy. Far can fill his woes with pleasure. As a run as here we see. Happy we've been all together. Can't you we've been in and Time shall see us all near by there, ere our eyes to come no more. Can the peer and so can their men call his conscience half his in? His clays are hedged and spun with vermin, though he sits upon a throne. Happy we've been a the gather, can't you we've been in and all. Time shall see us all mere blither, ere we rise to come away. Then let us all be tossing, lower the stoop so generous fame, and while Board is passing, to raise a song in Ferin Shep's name. Happy we've been a the gather, can't you we've been in and Time shall see us all mere blither, ere we rise to come away. For in ship marks us all mere happy, for in ship gives us all delight, for in ship consecrates the drappy, 
för din käppsbråk dags i hörnen hett. Ha peo i sperade kan teo i sperenen Sorry, I'm just going to go and put the TV off in the background because it's catching. Oh, okay, because it's just catching my eye. Yeah, uh, I tell you, it's really distracting. Although it doesn't seem to matter in a pub. Can if you ever mm. get loads of folk in a pub moving yeah. about, this doesn't bother me at all. But that was really quite distracting. It was. Uh, so, this uh, this last song is a bit of a comic song, a bit of a funny song, a bit of a tongue twister. Um, if you're a regular of Live in the Lounge, you'll ken that my last song is always something a wee bit different. Although this is a song that I have kent since I was, I don't even ken how we, um, probably even before I could speak, I've heard it. Um, Hogmanay's in Our House in Huntley were I pretty special. Um, we had Abdi. Well, first of all, it was up at my granny and grand at Webster's in Huntley, and then we moved down to my mum and dad's, and everybody came there, and we had a big meal. And then my granny sat down on the piano, and she was there for the duration with her half bottle of the Cardi Breezer that she didn't drink, but she just played for about eight o'clock at night, all the way through the bells till goodness knows what time in the morning. And Abdi had a wee song, and we even had a Donaldson family songbook, which was still got, and it's uh, a mixture of like Corey songs like um, The Road in the Miles to Dundee and then we had stuff like The Deadwood Stage, Doris Day and <laughs> my granny just is amazing. She would, pl she, she would play absolutely anything. She is genuinely one of the most, most fantastic musicians I've ever known. Uh, she just sits down and she just plays. She's, she's amazing. And uh, this is a song that was I rolled out at family parties uh, in the Donaldson or the Webster household and... Um, I think it's Irish, I'm pretty sure it's Irish actually, although you get versions of it all over the place. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm hoping that my Uncle Tommy is going to sing this one loud and proud, because this is the Rattling Bog, and this is always what we went mental for it at Hogmanay, and uh, yeah, along with the Quartermaster Stores, and uh, what was the other one we used to sing, The Music Man as well, but this is the Rattling Bog, so uh, join in, I hope I'm going <coughs> to hear enough breath for this. You better join in an apple. <laughs> oh, oh, the rattling bog, a bog down in the valley, oh, it's a rare bog, a rattling bog, a bog down in the valley, oh. In that bog there was a tree, a rare tree, a rattling tree, tree in a bog, and a bog down in the valley, oh. Oh, oh, the rattling bog, a bog down in the valley, oh, it's a rare bog, a rattling bog, a bog down in the valley, oh. Now on that tree there was a limb, a rare limb, a rattling limb. Lim on a tree and a tree and a bog and a bog down in the valley, oh. Oh, the rattling bog, a bog down in the valley, oh. It's a rare bog, a rattling bog, a bog down in the valley, oh. On that limb there was a branch, a rare branch, a rattling branch. Branch on a limb and a limb on a tree and a tree and a bog and a bog down in the valley, oh. Oh, the rattling bog, a bog down in the valley, oh. It's a rare bog, a rattling bog, a bog down in the valley, oh. That branch there was a twig, a rare twig, a rattling twig, twig on a branch and a branch on a limb and a limb on a tree and a tree and a bog and a bog down in the valley, oh, oh, oh the rattling bog, a bog down in the valley, oh, it's a rare bog, a rattling bog, bog down in the valley, oh, now on that twig there was a nest, rare nest, a rattling nest, nest on a twig and a twig on a branch and a branch on a limb and a limb on a tree and a tree and a bog and a bog down in the valley, oh, 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 the the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, oh, it's a rare bog, a rattling bog, a bog down in the valley, oh. In that nest there was an egg, a rare egg, a rattling egg, egg in a nest and a nest on a twig, and a twig on a branch, and a branch on a limb, and a limb on a tree, and a tree and a bog, and a bog down in the valley, oh. Oh, oh, the rattling bog, a bog down in the valley, oh, it's a rare bog, a rattling bog, a bog down in the valley, oh. Now in that egg there was a bird, a rare bird, a rattling bird, bird in an egg, in a 
and egg and a nest and a nest and a twerk and a twerk and a branch and a branch and a lamb and a lamb and a tree and a tree and a bog and a bog turn in the valley, oh. Oh, oh, the rattling bog, a bog turn in the valley, oh. It's a rare bog, a rattling bog, a bog turn in the valley, oh. Oh, on that bird there was a feather, a rare feather, a rattling feather, feather and a bird and a bird and an egg and an egg and a nest and a nest and a twig and a twig and a branch and a branch and a lamb and a lamb and a tree and a tree and a bog and a bog turn in the valley, oh. Oh, oh, the rattling bog, bog down in the valley, oh, it's a rare bog, a rattling bog, bog down in the valley, oh, now on that feather there was a flea, a rare flea, a rattling flea, flea and a feather and a feather and a bird and a bird and an egg and an egg and a nest and a nest and a twig and a twig and a branch and a branch and a limb and a limb and a tree and a tree and a bog and a bog down in the valley, oh, 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 the rattling bog, bog down in the valley, oh, it's a rare bog, a rattling bog, bog down in the valley, oh. Flea and a feather and a feather and a bird and a bird and a nest and a nest and a twig and a twig and a branch and a branch and a limb and a limb and a tree and a tree and a bog and a bog down in the valley, oh, oh, the rattling bog, bog down in the valley, oh, it's a rare bog, a rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. <laughs> you can imagine... Uh, all of our family, there's probably like 12, 15 of us going absolutely mental for the Rattling Bog. It's brilliant. I love it. So uh, I'm hoping that all my family were singing along with that. I know Uncle Tommy was probably getting it laldy. <laughs> uh, right, well, that I'm talking about. That's us, just that's a bit. Us. Okay, yeah, well, we'll see next week. We'll be back next, next week. week. We'll be back on Friday. You're right, aye. Right, hold on, I'll force you. Can we go to bed a bit? Okay. And I'm going to pass this. I am going to pass this. Fancy fiddle, yeah. Mm. There you go, sure. Alison Skinner says she's playing virtual melodian along with a rattling dog. There you go. Oh, and Gordon called her. He says, I've had a few drinks, but I really love you both for doing this show. <laughs> we love you, Gordon, for watching every single week. Aye, thanks, everybody, for looking, looking in. Well, let's do the whiskey first. Okay. So, fit whiskey. Fetch the whiskey. No, I mean, I was there. One single person was eagle-eyed enough to notice the, <laughs> the, 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 the big mistake I made in my plan for I got Hector to come in with a whiskey was... <laughs> he brought in the whiskey I was drinking. Um, so, folks, I think I said it was exotic. This is the Singleton, which is a Speyside malt, as I said. Um, 12 year old, and it's described... That, well, it's on the box. It says Luscious Nectar. Ooh. Now... How much more luscious nectar. inviting could you possibly want? Luscious nectar, 12 year old singleton, delicious. It was because I finished my drum. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, anyway, that was that. No, nobody got thing. it right. Did nobody they? got it right. Nobody okay. got it right. What's in the box? 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 Right, I'm going to hit Pippa for this. Nobody got this right. Either. Nope. Nobody got this right. No one. Give so, it a rattle. My fancy version box here. Da, 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 it is. It's a cunnel. Cunnel. Candle. A candle. It's a cunnel. It's a cunnel. <laughs> it's a cunnel. And the reason I thought about this is it's nice to light a candle in hope of a good new year. Well, you're meant to have a fire on it. Well, you? I do. Or cunnels or something. You're supposed to have. You're supposed to nail it. Your light out during the last day of the new year. Yeah. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, Karen Marshall says, this. "Happy New Year to you all. Happy New Year to you." So there you go. And that's, a candle for everyone. That's not just any candle. That's a Yankee candle. It's it's snow in the sunlight. Oh, it is, is it? Mm. Well. It exactly. smells like a candle to me. So that's us. We're, we've lit our candle. So it's a Yankee candle to bring in the new year with yep. some whiskey and some Prosecco. fizzy some Prosecco. So thanks, Abdi, for looking in. In fact, thanks, Abdi, for looking in. Keep going if you like. I, but I think folk are probably going to move on to saying Happy New Year to their families and stuff. Yeah, I'm away to give my mum a quick phone. As I am myself. And so um, thanks for looking in. It's been, well, I, we I hate good fun for what they miss and we appreciate folk taking the time and um, thank you very much we'll be back next week next friday it's usually a friday but this is thursday hog my was always night to do this we'll be back next friday and we'll live in the lounge have the usual what's in the, well what's in the box we'll be Aye. back next week probably what's the beer or what's the whiskey we'll be back next week 
Um, if you have enjoyed it and you do fancy shoving something into the tip jar, it's www.paypal.me forward slash Paul Anderson Shona Dawn. There's a wee link to it. Um, but that's absolutely not necessary. I mean, we're doing this because we love to do it. Um, we'd do it. So we'd do it anyway. We've got nothing else to do. We started doing it. I, I did a bit of a, a PayPal thing, but Shona said, oh, I maybe shoot because some folk maybe will. So we did, but. Um, we it genuinely it, appreciate it. We'd still be doing this regardless. Tonight. So yeah. there you go. Like, genuinely. But I do, we do appreciate our, yeah. our, our, our deal is, is dead for it. It's been yeah. very supportive. So thank you very much. Yeah. So, till next week. We're going to leave you a couple of tunes. Have a great night. I mean, it's different again for yeah. folk, but it's been great to share. I've enjoyed with you. it. I've really oh, it's enjoyed it. I've been excited. I've been excited about this artwork. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking forward to a plate of tatty soup now. That's for I'm heating. Prosecco and tatty soup. In the box. Neil like Gauss fiddle safely back in his box. Um, Shona's playing that. Um, I'm playing Neil Gauss fiddle because just before we came on at quarter past eleven, my D string on my fiddle snapped. <laughs> And I didn't have enough time to change it. It was the easiest thing to do is just, just to play, play Neil's one. fiddle. So anyway, um, to bring in the new year, a tune on Neil Gow's fiddle. We're going to Hello. play um, a tune by Fergie MacDonald because he has just been announced as being on the Queen's New Year's Honours list. The great stalwart to the West Coast dance music. band style, the Cayley circuit. All round good guy. He's a legend. Totally. Uh, uh, Fergie, I, I first met him actually... You think I might have bumped into my phone that weekend? We're all busy, but <coughs> I asked him to come in and be in the band for whiskey, the, the Whiskey Galore movie, and that's the first time that I met Fergie. And I have to say, you can someone he was a guy you instantly felt like you can't and instantly liked. And I'm very fond of Fergie, so we're going to play his arguably his best kit tune, Jig Runrig, which was written for the band. And then we're going to finish with the Athel Highlanders. And Shona says, that's your Uncle Tommy's, one of his favourite mm -hmm. tunes. I know. So. It's totally like an Uncle Tommy night tonight, isn't it? Because we've done La Bonnie Moore Hen, which he always sings. And we've done the Rattling Bog, which he sings as well. And now we're doing the Athel Highlanders. So the <laughs> trouble is, Tommy, once we're allowed to have folk in the house properly, and there's no worries, we're going to get you to come and do this. And you're going to sing <laughs> the Bonnie Moore Hen. Well, I forgot to say, that when nobody guessed our four Oh, my mum guessed three of them. Um, but... Folk had guessed some. The first thing was a Bonnie Moore hen, which is in reference to Bonnie Prince Charlie hiding out in the heather. The second thing was Wah in the fifth for Charlie, Wah in the draw the sword. And then it was Come o'er the stream, Charlie. Charlie, dear Charlie, dear Charlie. And then Charlie is, is my, my darling, my darling, my darling. Charlie is my darling, the young Charlie. Do you mind Roddy used to sing the young chandelier? The young <laughs> for the back seat in the car yeah. right folks we're going to finish with the a couple of jigs it. have a great night and let's hope next yep. year this new year is going to be better yeah happy new year everybody and if it's not your new year yet in America or wherever you're watching from all the very best for you when the bells come um, and yeah thanks for joining us yep. it's been great right so let's just check me. a tune oh, I can't. you're going to have to tune to me because I can't tune this this should be alright I tuned them together earlier. Okay. <laughs> yep.
Right, have a good night, um, have a good new year and Have a great 2021 Keep safe, wear your masks, keep distant and Go and have a dram Have a dram and just <laughs> lock up the out your house <laughs> Have a great time, we'll see you later Thanks see for you looking Friday, in folks. Cheers folks Have a new year oh, Big <laughs>